Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh Terry 22, and uh, I'm, today I'm going to do a review of the Toxic Avenger for the DVD Fiends. I guess this is week 18, um, but uh, this is my first review, so bear with me. It may not be the best, but uh, I'm definitely going to try to do this. I want to thank um, uh, the DVD Fiends for actually letting me do this on Thursday, so uh, let's get into it. Today I'm going to review the Toxic Avenger. This is put out by Troma Films. Um, this is directed by Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Hintz, I believe. Uh, also written by them. Uh, this came out in 1980. Uh, this was the movie that really put Troma on the map um, as far as merchandise-wise, and I'm, I'm assuming selling uh, their videos and stuff. This movie spawned two sequels, uh, which in my opinion are not as good as the, this one. But, uh, I mean, they're... After this movie came out, they had Toxic Avenger action figures, coloring books, um, even had a cartoon, uh, The Toxic Crusaders, which they kind of toned down from the movie. Actually, toned down a lot, but uh, they made it more kid-friendly, I guess. But uh, this movie is very brutal, uh, made with a really low budget. Um, there's a head-crushing scene in here that was made with a melon, um, but it looks really good. You can't really tell. But uh, I've always been a big fan of the Toxic Avenger and just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, the Toxic Avenger starts out uh, at a health club. It's a very 80s health club, a uh, fitness club with these workout freaks. Um, and there's a janitor uh, called Melvin the Mop Boy. And uh, he's like a real skinny nerd guy. But he has a crush on a girl named Julie that hangs out with a bunch of, uh, almost like a gang of uh, bullies. And they decide to pr play a prank on Melvin, and uh, they uh, turn the lights out, and uh, he thinks he's making out with the chick, but when they flip the lights on, he's really making out with the sheep, so he's embarrassed, and everybody's laughing at him. And he takes off running, and he jumps out of a window, and he lands into a barrel of toxic waste uh, that is parked outside of the health club on a truck, and uh, then it transforms him into the Toxic Avenger. And uh, he... You could guess transformed into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength is what they how they put it. Um, they originally didn't have a name for him when this movie came out. If you look at the shirts on the movie, it says "We Love the Monster," but um, after they came out, I guess they came up with a Toxic Avenger after they got it finished. But uh, after he transforms into the Toxic Avenger, he hunts down Bozo and Julie the gang that uh, did uh, to wreak his revenge, I guess you could say. And uh, he uh, kills them all in brutal ways. And uh, the acting in this movie is pretty over the top, but it's great 80s stuff. Um, you just you can't beat this stuff. But uh, after he gets his revenge on the, the gang, he starts uh, cleaning up Tromaville. I guess it's Tromaville, New Jersey is what it's supposed to be, but I don't think that's a real town. But... Uh, that's where all of trauma movies are set on, I think. But uh, after he starts that, he starts cleaning up the town and killing all... Uh, he doesn't really... He, I guess he's not a vigilante, but he kills all of his victims. Uh, there's a scene in there where he goes into a diner and uh, is being robbed, and uh, he kills all of the robbers very violently. There's an awesome... Um, ripping off of an arm seam, which they use the actual decapitee for. If you watch close, the movie, or not decapitee, but uh, a guy's missing an arm, I guess you would say. But um, if you watch the movie, he doesn't move that whole arm because he has a fake arm on through the whole scene. It's pretty hilarious. But um, and then the guy had to point a gun at a baby in this, and I read on, uh, read on Trump's website that he quit after that. It was pretty funny. But uh, the Toxic Avenger rescues a blind girl, which becomes his girlfriend. And she shows up throughout the cartoon and the, the sequels of the movie. Uh, he just becomes Tromaville's hero at the end of the movie. But uh, if you haven't seen the Toxic Avenger, I would highly recommend it. I know this isn't the best review, but um, uh, this movie made me respect low-budget movies, to say the least. Uh, this is where I got my first taste of low budgetness I guess you would say as a child um, but I knew that I was on something special because this, these movies are filled with um, great one-liners and this cheesy 80s fun it's just 
a really good movie, but um, if you get a chance to check this out, definitely check it out. Um, but uh, it's my review for Toxic Avenger, and uh, hopefully everybody uh, will check this movie out. <laughs> Later.